Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the best iPad apps for note-taking and digital planning that you might not have heard about, and I'll give my thoughts on each of the app's pros and cons. I've had so many questions about this since some popular apps have changed their pricing model, so if you're looking for an alternative, then here are the best apps you need to know about. Noteful is very user-friendly and it didn't take me long to figure out where all the tools are. I love that you can zoom so much into the page as I find that helps me to handwrite more easily. I found it easy to work with images and photos and my favorite feature is you can change the transparency of images directly inside the app. There's also a layers feature and this lets you put objects on different layers. Organizing pages is straightforward and I love that you can zoom to change the viewing size of your page thumbnails. For note taking, there's customizable note templates and you can organize your notes using hashtags. You can just place these on your page and this allows you to easily find content you have tagged. There's also a handy ruler and you can record audio from your lectures. Other features I like include the zoom window that lets you automatically move forward on the page as you're writing. There's also a cool washi tape pen and you can customize the toolbar. I tested our new digital planners inside the app and everything worked smoothly, including the new customizable interactive tabs. Pages load quickly and importing and exporting large files is amazingly fast. There are a couple of things I didn't like about the app. I found it fairly cumbersome to work with text boxes, especially if you like to use the handwriting to text scribble feature. Also, the search tool doesn't work for handwritten notes. Pillow Notes has a ton of content and I found the app fairly simple and intuitive to use. There's some cute features in here that I haven't seen in any other app, like the huge selection of doodle pen brushes, which I think are really fun to use for digital planning. And there seems to be a ton of stickers included with the premium version of the app, although there's no way to filter through them, so finding what you want can be a little tricky. There's also a large selection of templates and notebook covers, and some of these designs are super cute. You can do handwriting to text and it will remember your favorite font. And most of the other features that I find useful for digital planning are also in here, such as being able to rearrange pages, draw and edit shapes. What I didn't like about the app is I found importing PDF files to be fairly slow. And I came across a couple of bugs whilst using the app, like the whiteboard tool suddenly stopped working and I wasn't able to write anything on it. I want to mention Colonode because it's one of the few apps that give you a lot of features for free. And I love that you can create unlimited notebooks without having to upgrade. You have all the essential features in here and some of my favorite features include dark mode, which actually turns your page dark as well and not just the app interface. The search function works for handwritten notes and for note taking, you have note templates, the ability to record audio as well as being able to collaborate with others. I also like that you can create page hyperlinks, draw shapes using the pen tool, and there's also a small selection of stickers inside the app. The downside with Color Note is I personally found the user interface a little confusing and it's just not as intuitive as other apps. Working with text and the handwriting to text feature is a little clunky. I also couldn't find how to change the page scroll to vertical instead of horizontal. And the biggest issue I had is not being able to rearrange my planner pages easily because the pages manager tool is fairly basic. Nebo has some unique features that I haven't come across in other apps. You have these responsive note templates and your handwritten notes will automatically adapt when you resize the box. There's not a huge amount of features, but you do have all the essential tools. And one interesting quirk about this app is that images are automatically put behind handwriting and text. You might find this a useful feature, although I couldn't find any way to turn this off or bring the image to the front. Some other features that I like, the search function works for both handwritten notes and text, and you can easily draw shapes and adjust them afterwards. Some downsides with the app. I use my digital planner a lot, and the biggest missing feature to me is the lack of a pages manager tool, so it's really hard and almost impossible to rearrange any pages. I miss having a selective lasso tool to be able to choose what types of objects I want to move, and I also couldn't drag and drop images from outside the app like with most other apps. For those reasons, I think Nebo is probably better suited to note-taking and not so much for digital planning. Zoom Notes has been around for a really long time. I personally find the user interface super confusing and wouldn't recommend it to beginners. However, if you're willing to put in the effort to learn, I think it would be worthwhile because there's so many features in here that you wouldn't find in any other apps. I love decorating my digital planner with stickers and in Zoom Notes, there are so many ways to edit your images and photos. You can change the color, transparency, mirror the image or distort it. And this is so convenient because you basically have an image editor directly inside the app. 
There's a ton of edit tools, including customizable pens, and you can also customize the toolbar. You can work with different layers, create page hyperlinks, search through handwritten notes, and there's also a zoom window and a split screen mode. What I didn't like about the app, on top of the confusing interface, is it can be slow flipping between pages, and navigating around my planner just didn't feel as fluid as in other apps. No Shelf 3 is the latest version of No Shelf, and it comes with a ton of features. I like the zoom window that lets you automatically move forward on the page as you're writing, and there's other cool features like the stickers and emoji stamps that come with the app, as well as a customizable toolbar. You can draw and edit shapes, record audio, and rearrange pages however you like. I feel like this app could be really amazing, however, it is let down by some performance issues like slow page loading and a little bit of general lagging. I noticed this particularly when zooming into the page or resizing a sticker, and it just really affects the overall user experience. I'm also personally not a big fan of the pens and found even the ball pen to be a little bit weird. I want to mention Notes Writer only briefly. There's plenty of useful features in here, including handwriting to text, drawing shapes, recording audio, and creating your own page hyperlinks. However, I'm not a fan of this app for digital planning because the lasso tool will pick up any embedded hyperlinks, making it very easy to accidentally move or delete them from your planner. I also found the app very slow when switching between different planner files, but you might not encounter any of these issues if you're just using it for taking notes. Anyways, I hope you found the video useful and let me know in the comments which app is your favorite and why. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. And check out my other videos in the meantime. Thanks for watching!